Elliot Grinch. What's going on everyone? Game Boy EG here back with another LSPDFR GTA 5 quick tutorial. And uh, as you can see, we are setting up because I'm actually setting up a um, scenario or should I say another um, GTA 5 of life, uh, my real life mod series where we're going to be working for a real estate agent. And it's pretty much going to be like um, House Hunters. I'm not, if you guys are familiar with the uh, show. Um, and we're going to be showing some people real estate out through, you know, throughout the uh, Los Santos area. So we'll be working for Dynasty 8 real estate. But this is an MLO using the uh, resources installed into a uh, single player. So uh, I believe there's another one. I, I was going to think there's another MLO that uses this location as well. That I have installed it in um, another game, but it, it's not a real estate agent agency i should say but anyway so th this is just a, a simple mlo not not a lot of things going on it's not too complicated it's just pretty much like an office space uh two different um hey, entrance exits and that's pretty much it it's just at the uh, center point over here in the uh, west vinewood area let me make sure that there's no other uh... yeah that's it and it just pretty much Prime property in the Los Santos area. So I do like that because it definitely fits the theme for what I'm about to do for uh, GTA 5 of my GTA 5 of life. So anyway, that's it. So I just wanted to show you show you guys that, and uh, we're gonna go to my desktop and I'll show you how I installed it. All right, so we're back at my desktop, and um, as you can see, once again, it's like I tell you guys to, to once in a while go and check out um 5m forum and you check out the resources and, and like i said there's a lot of time there's some um, neat things that pop up especially for mlos and um you know as long as you understand how to install it into single player or even if you use it in your 5m servers a lot of nice um free available resources for you to utilize so anyway this is the mlo dynasty 8 real estate agency created by gigzem and um, as you can see the pictures here, it's just what I showed you in the video, in the, tu in the uh, tutorial. And these are the resources you download from this link right here. And once downloaded, you'll have these this file here. As you already know, I already have a single player already saved for myself. You extract the uh, raw or, or zip file. And you will have these resources here, the uh, stream resources total of 24 files of course we're not going to utilize all of them for the purposes of our grand theft auto single player so we are using create dlc pack as you can see i just use the uh, title name of the folder dynasty 8 you cl click on create dlc it will be extracted to my desktop you choose where you uh your location it's up to you we'll minimize that as you already know i have it dragged you, you drag and drop it into open four. It's going to go into mods, update, X64, DLC packs, and Dynasty 8 right there. So I'm going to get rid of this empty fold. I don't need this because I already have it done. So we are going to go into the folder, into the DLC, X64, levels, GTA 5. And we have these two RPF folders, one for the metadata and the regular rpf folder as i've told you before into the regular folder is going to go our uh pretty much like our texture files not well not texture because those are ytds but we're going to place our ydrs ybns um those all go into the first folder so as you can see i have a total of 14 so it will be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen all of those go into the first folder once you have that done we're going to back out we're going to go into the metadata folder where we have a total of eight okay so 
we have a total of 8. So it'll be the 8 plus the 14, so 22. So, of course, we're getting rid of two files that we're not going to use. You probably already know off the back, we're not using no stream folder, no uh, stream uh, Y maps, because, like I said, those pretty much function in 5M servers. And we're not using this occlusion, I, I call it occlusion or OCCL uh, Y map. We're getting rid of those two, but everything else you're going to dump into the metadata folder. So it's going to be the manifest, your YTYP, your Milo YMAP, YTD, that's the texture file, YTD, 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 and the YTD, all right? For a total of eight files in the metadata folder. You place all those in there. Then you're going to go to mods, update, update RPF, common, data, DLC list. We're going to edit. Make sure you're in edit mode when you do that. And you're going to add Dynasty 8 somewhere down below. I, I added because I put Map Builder in here as well. So once you do that, save. You can close your open 4. I'm going to minimize mine. Minimize this file. And that's it. And you'll have the Dynasty 8. All right, so hopefully this tutorial helped you, gave you something new to add to your game. Um, make sure you get down below in the comments. Make sure you uh, get down below in the comments. Probably my phone was going off. <laughs> make sure you get down below in the comments. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, um, tell a friend to tell another friend, and uh, I'll keep bringing you more comments. If you're new to my, my channel, please subscribe. Okay, make sure you hit that bell notification and I will keep bringing you more content. Game Boy EG signing off on another one. Take care. Be safe.